And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Primal Texan Experiment, episode number 41. I'm your host, Big Curly. Let's talk about the Texas freeze that came and went. Not as bad as last year. We did have some slight improvements. The government was a little bit more hasty this time to be prepared. Maybe a little overprepared. Got a little scared in us last year. I mean, we had 200 people die. Not a proud record to have when things like that happen, especially the whole entire grid failing for a period of time. Pretty scary. Got pretty cold. Had to chop a lot of wood, wood that I wouldn't normally burn, but had to burn it. Yeehaw. Wow. Yeehaw. Give it a little. Yeehaw. If you know where that comes from. But we got through it. Wasn't that bad? If you witnessed the salt dumping on I-35 for the preparation of this freeze, it was intense. I, had, I got to drive through it. It was like a fine mist of salt. And then driving behind the actual 18-wheeler that was dumping the salt, having to go around it, wow. That's a lot of salt being dumped out of that truck. And driving up to Austin, driving through that, sitting in the sun for a couple hours while at work, and then driving back, going through that mist again, and I rinse my truck as soon as I get home. And the reason why I rinse my truck is because that salt corrodes paint corrodes metal, corrodes everything on your vehicle. Your best option is just to rinse it. Go wash it. I gave my truck a rinse. Rinse the tires, rinse the brakes, everything. You know, just give it a fine rinse the grill. You might want to just go wash your car if you've been driving on I-35. That was a lot of salt. If you drove through a salt mist, yeah, go wash your vehicle. Do you a lot of good. Sadly, one thing that didn't change from last year was the panic buying. Why is, do people panic buy? Or is it just people taking advantage of a situation? You know, buying extra goods to sell for a profit later on. Buy and hold. Sell and demand. Nothing new. But... You would hope that we would just work to be better humans. Just work. And not only that. Work on building a better society. However that it may be built, I don't know. Just an idea. You know, just a little. In the blank of your mind. Just a word idea. Word idea bubble. Remember that elementary school? How to form an idea? Give you pages with little bubbles and told you to make little word ideas out of them? I don't know if you had that or not. <laughs> Just came to my head for some reason. How far up straight away from the Texas freeze? Not to mention the whole nation. The whole nation suffered that freeze. If you suffer from that, I hope you get back up and just keep moving. Keep moving forward. That's all you can do. Yeah, it sucks, but that's life sometimes. You got to take the ups with the downs. Get the Canadians. They're not taking any more downs. They're tired. Those convoys. I don't know if you've been watching the Canadian convoys. The way like they protest. The way they put on a show. 
It's all like, wow, Canadians. Nice. Like, convoys of trucks down there at their parliament protesting vaccine mandate, government vaccine mandates. Okay. They're protesting that. Because a lot of them don't want to lose their jobs because a lot of them don't want to get the vaccine. Fair enough, right? I believe so. I believe you have the right that your job shouldn't depend on your vaccine status. It's ridiculous. How far are you going to take this? Remember, the last Reich that had identification papers at checkpoints, restaurants, you don't have to go that far back. Last major war. It's the reason why that war happened. Do we really want to go back to that? Mm. So yeah, I stand with these Canadians. I believe in what they're doing. I believe. I will always promote freedom of rights. I believe you should always fight for those rights, that you should stand up for them when people are trying to take it away from you. Because what else will you have after that? What else will they take away? Speech may be like the last barrier, the only barrier we may have. That's scary because a lot of us don't use that. It's a tool. It's a weapon. Your speech, your voice can be a powerful weapon if you trained it to be so. Sharpen the tools. And you can become a very powerful person. You really can be. And you're, it will transform you. Make you become a different person. Try it out. But the convoys, they're like fireworks. I've seen some barbecues. TikTok, TikTok's been interesting. TikTok shows like a different side. I don't know how your TikTok works, but my TikTok. It's been following a lot of the convoys, a lot of these freedom of speech videos. It's interesting to watch it from different countries. I'm surprised because it's a China app. How does this China app show freedom of speech? I thought they censor that. Very strange. Communist country. Communist China app TikTok. Never forget that. I use it. It's entertaining because for some reason it really does bring the stuff I enjoy watching. That's really crazy to say. It beats YouTube. It beats Instagram. I deleted Facebook a long time ago. It beats them. And the sad part is that they changed the algorithms over here in the U USA to promote you know, silly stuff. I'll just say silly stuff. Promote silly stuff. Well, in like their country, they promote engineers, science experiments, violinists, classical music, music, like artists, scientists, extreme people, you know, exceptional talents whatever that may be the world is a vast treasure chest to dive into if you know where to look it can be a hell if you fall in the wrong places like the way some Canadians are feeling like it is for them so yeah I hope they get what they want I hope they get those mandates removed. But they are surely putting up a show. They know how to protest.
And they are like protesting politely. And those convoys are getting refueled by like other citizens. I know I talk some some crap about 18 wheelers. And I stand by those comments because some 18 wheelers are douchebags, but not all of them. There's some good kind hearts out there. Like those ones in Canada. Now I'm sure there's ones here in Texas. <clears throat> Just like I know there's some here in Texas. Here in the USA. But I guess that's the difference between having international corporation truckers versus private businesses, families, and drivers running the show. Instead of corporations making the rules, you have private entrepreneur businesses in that field making the rules, making team rules. Hopefully they get what they want. It's going to be a hard fight. They're going to make them suffer. Just like they're probably suffering right now in that cold freeze. But they're Canadians. They're used to the cold. Yo. How do they say it? Old. They have like this weird O in their accent. Always imagine South Park with them bobbling their heads. I just keep picturing every time I see them on a news video. I just want to see like their head just bobble like on South Park. How funny that would be. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, South Park, how it's put that impression on us. One day, it's going to be fake news. Fake news is going to become real news. And then... One day they might have their heads actually bobbling off their heads. Or their, they might ha actually have bobbling heads. Be intense. Humans walking around with like bobbling heads while they talk. Wow. Be kind of creepy, no? <laughs> Imagine the balancing act. One would have to do while they're talking and their head is bouncing at the same time. Couldn't, would they be able to like walk and talk at the same time? Run and talk? Ooh. How to bring cartoon animation into the real world. The real world of this world that is you never know. It might just all be assimilation. Ooh, how much exciting would this simulation get if Boris Johnson got the boot? His aides are already leaving him, resigning from his office. He's losing support in his parliament. It's only a matter of time. I'm predicting it's only a matter of time. I like Boris Johnson. It's a wildcat. It's a party animal. But he's been too long in the seat, getting too comfortable. You know, when you get too comfortable, you start making little slight mistakes, thinking you won't get caught. But if you leave breadcrumbs, someone's going to follow them. Just a matter of time. Speaking of the times, why is Joe Rogan so much in the headlines for trying to suppress Joe Rogan? All this talk on him on world news, night news, headline morning news, it's ridiculous. They're just making his fame go boop, 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 boop. Yeah, censor him. Talk more about censoring him. Make his name more out there. That's great. That's awesome. Isn't it funny how censorship, when companies try to censor, or people try to censor, that media explodes. It's like when 
they say there's going to be a shortage of ammo or guns, or they're going to outlaw guns, then people rush to go buy guns and ammo. Whatever the excuse is, it's always an excuse to buy guns and ammo in the United States of America. Because people believe in the right to bear arms here in this country because it's written in our constitution. And you know what? I can't fight that. It's in our constitution. It's, it's our bill of rights, apparently. And we should be glad that we have those bill of rights because we don't have those vaccine mandates for our jobs. Most of us. I think at the federal level for federal jobs, it's got appealed by a court. So I don't think it's mandated for federal jobs anymore. I could be wrong. Times change. You never know what judge is appealing who and who vetoes who. Justice system. It's a real piece of work. Well, back to Joe Rogan. Man, I like the guy. He's funny. He's a comedian. I always take his show as like an opportunity to maybe learn something new or laugh my butt off. It's one of the two. Never made me mad listening to Joe Rogan. Never upset at me about the things he said or talked about. Even the guests that he has on. I like the guests that he brings on. Even the controversial ones. Because they bring a different view site. A different perspective that normally I wouldn't see. Sometimes they might change like a certain viewpoint I may have, but not the overall principle. Like, just shed a new perspective on current knowledge out there. Conspiracies are sometimes scary. A wonderful thing. Because they share... Such creative knowledge out there. They share such creativeness for what little knowledge that we may or may not know. It's quite beautiful. And it's just like a little Pandora's box. What's true? What's not true? What could be? What is impossible? What if everything's possible? I was saying, everything's possible. Just gotta believe in yourself. Like the Canadians are believing in themselves. I bet you Boris Johnson believes that he can pull through and continue to be Prime Minister. Wouldn't that be some something? If he continues on to be the Prime Minister past the Queen. And you know what I mean. You're getting there. <laughs> But I hope her health and comfortability in her age, as I do for everyone that reaches that age, it's hard, it's hard being that old. Seeing my grandparents talk about pain all the time. I don't know if I want to be that old. Most of the time, they're just. I'm just waiting for my time. Waiting for my time. That's what they used to say. Waiting for my time. I'm like, I don't want to be waiting for my time. I just, I want my time when my time's up just to hit me. Like in that Justin Timberlake movie, In Time, when they're, oh, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched In Time, 2011, by the way. Yeah, when your time is up, they literally have like time on their wrists that if they don't work for time, when they zero out, they're just done. They're dead. Gone. Zero. That would be like great. Like if you had enough, well, depending on the perspective, it'd be great to, if you had a bunch of time. But if you were on the other end, yeah, you'd be dead all the time. Be a bunch of dead people pretty much as there is in that movie but if you had the time 
You can pick your own time to die. That'd be scary. Pick your own time to die. I read something weird that if all our diseases and cancers were cured, then we would all die horrible deaths. Pretty crazy. Like, why would we die all horrible deaths? Because we would be so bored? Because there would be too many of us living extremely since we don't have any diseases? Wouldn't that be a good thing? Wouldn't that help with control population? Or would we all have horrible deaths? Because we all be living too long of a lives. And we would probably have things like the purge. How scary would that be? That's probably why we would all die horribly. Or better yet, what was this movie that I remember watching as a little kid? Logan's Run. Logan's Run was where they there wasn't anybody over the age of 25, I believe. Could be wrong. Because those in charge of society would remove everyone of age of 25 and older. Well, there wouldn't be anyone older. Anyone that reached the age of 25, you're out, you're gone, you're zipped, you're turned into food. And two citizens, a male, female, ran away. And I believe the male only got to escape. Well, what if society turned into that? Scary. Would you live in it? Would you want that? If it was peace and order? Peace and order. That's how the empire started. You know? Star Wars, the Empire, like the Empire Joe Rogan's forming. He is forming a nice little empire. He really has that FU money and he is using it to the extreme and let him, let him. I think it's awesome. I hope he really does something great. He seems like a nice person, really has a nice persona that he has to live up to, I guess. Joey Diaz was talking some mad crap about it. Go watch Joey Diaz. He's a very entertaining guy. Joe Rogan says he's the funniest for a reason. He's got some good crew to him. It's very good. Makes you laugh. You're all like, ah, oh, I can't believe he just said that. Wow. But he'll get you good. He'll get you good eventually. Just give him time. Don't let that media suppress you like they're trying to do to Joe Rogan. I'm seeing different headlines. I'm seeing anywhere from 60 to 100 episodes of Joe Rogan was removed from Spotify. I'm pretty sure the list will be out what episodes they removed and Joe Rogan will probably post them somewhere else on some other hosting website unless that's against the rules for Spotify. Never know what they have in these contracts, but Joe has the satisfy Spotify. With all those apology videos he's giving. It's kind of funny to watch, but I'm glad he's explaining himself. He's got, got $100 million contract. He's got a $100 million contract. So feels obliged to do something good, to provide a good message. Shows some good signs of a good person in him. That's why I like him. Maybe crazy. May ask a lot of. Different questions, which I like. You may ask the hard questions that no one wants to ask. Another good aspect I like. And, but I know he says some, some stuff that people don't like. It's a little hard for some people to intake. Some of the words that he bestows on some of us listeners. <laughs> wow. Really? Uh, media tech. Can't believe. Feels like 1984 is coming alive. Media and big tech. Censoring the world. Censoring what we see. I thought that was the thing we were fighting against in China. And I mean that in a political manner, like we're fighting against censorship. 
like censorship of speech in a way how far you want to take it i laugh i really do laugh inside my head when they just start taking everything down and they just promote only what they want to show us only what they want us to follow how they want us to live in society and we already have those rules they're there but imagine it being forced down your throat every day and then you're told to spy on your neighbor to report on your neighbor you know if there's something you don't like that your neighbor's doing just go over there knock on their door tell them like hey I'm your neighbor. I don't like this. It's this time of the night. You're disrupting my peace. That's all you got to do. Easy. Some people may or may not like that. But usually people stop if they're doing something wrong. But big tech doesn't feel like they're doing something wrong. They feel like they're doing something right. And never forget that saying the road to hell is built with good intentions. The golden brick road. Yeah. Speaking of that golden brick road. Don't forget to visit my website. Primaltextandexperiment.podbean.com there you can see my other videos that videos with san antonio comedian clifton simmons becoming quite a thing here in san antonio really impressed with him he's just he's really hustling out there getting his name out there getting his brand branding up i like that keep going cliff keep working your ass off i like it work harder you know always work harder let's go Always work harder. Get that next level up. Get it, Cliff. Don't forget to visit primaltextandexperiment.podbean.com. The podcast is also on TikTok. Ooh, TikTok. That has some interesting avenues on it if you haven't been on it already. I don't recommend you download it. It is the worst thing you can do in your life because it will deliver exactly what you want to see when you want to see it it's crazy it's way better than facebook which i haven't had in a while tiktok has become the new conspiracy channel of the world it literally has everything from flat earthers hollow earth hollow moon illuminati the list goes on and on it's the conspiracy channel it really is it's great Another thing is, it also brings movies to you for free. It's great. You get to actually watch clips of movies. Like the best scenes, the best parts. TikTok is too good. Don't download it. It's too good. I've noticed though, when I'm posting my stuff onto TikTok, certain hashtags will just get you absolutely trash comments people trying to promote their just you're promoting in other people's comments section that is not even related to the content above wow come on i mean thank you for the views i'll take the views but your comments do people really follow those wacky comments it's like wacky websites or a wacky platform name. Well, if you're a true platform and you're a true website and you're authentic. I hope the best for you. I really hope you succeed. And you can rub it in my face later or send an email if you ever hear about this. And I talk crap about your comments on my TikTok. I mean, I have my friends that comment nicely, nice things. They ask, actually ask me questions. So it's good. It's fun. Reconnecting with old friends. You can follow some deep rabbit holes on TikTok. You can go like conspiracy deep rabbit hole or anti-conspiracy deep 
rabbit hole. You can go way left wing or way right wing or right down the middle. And then all the gray room in between. Pretty strange. How it's a Chinese app, but it's not censoring all the crazy things that would be censored on Instagram, Facebook, maybe even Twitter now. I don't know. Twitter can still be pretty ranchy sometimes. You go to some people's Twitter pages. Whoa. Whoa. Didn't know I was at a porn site. So be careful when you're exploring some Twitter profiles. You can get very interesting. You know who's not teasing? Nancy Pelosi. She is not teasing about playing options at all. She called out her options back in December, bought millions, bought millions, and won huge. Like she got like $300 jump on an option for Google. That is huge. That is insane amount of money. She probably paid for her next campaign race already. Like done deal. Her and her husband set money by we're good for the next campaign. We're going to win. Just going to keep rolling in those, those doughs of money. Control that power that she has. Gee, what insider trader of the year. I would just love to be a fly on the wall around her. All the information she must hear. I bet you can make a ton of money. You can find a lot of opportunity with the information she knows. I really wish she would talk more about illegal aliens crossing the border. Illegal immigrants crossing the border. All these immigrants are being dumped by our government. United States government. Throughout the nation, one report from America Uncovered reported that hundreds of young single men are being dropped off at San Antonio Airport. Hundreds young single men at San Antonio Airport. All the women are flying to different states. Interesting, right? And this is be happening throughout the whole entire nation, different cities. Go check it out. It's interesting how we're, how our government is just dumping these illegal immigrants everywhere. Shouldn't they just be held at the border towns, held at the border cities? Or is that just too much of a handle? Or just send them back home to their countries. We can't handle that. What is going on? What is truly going on? Are we allowing this flush of illegal immigrant workers into the nation to like supply a new workforce? How crazy would that be? To supply a new workforce with illegal aliens. There is a shortage of workers. Putting the dots together. Check out American Uncovered. It's a great YouTube channel. He's a good reporter. Also reports on uh, China News. It's called China Uncensored. It's pretty good. I enjoy it. That's where I get my China News. <laughs> I mean, he translates it. I hope. Hmm. Yeah. Kind of news. Believe what you want. Could all be fake news, anyways. Could all be a fake world. Ooh. It's all Matrix. No, it's real life. It's the only life we know. That's for sure. We only know the Pacific Ocean to be the Pacific Ocean. Look at a globe. And when you look at the globe, you turn to the Pacific Ocean. You can pretty much just set it to see the whole entire planet as water. And you'll see the edges of the continents. 
that's a lot of area. That's a whole planet side. It's just covered by water. What if it wasn't cover all covered by water? And here's my thought. What if there's a hidden continent there? A volcanic island? Because you have Hawaii. That just spring up out of nowhere. Makes these little volcanic islands. Just one random hotspot? In that whole entire Pacific Ocean? Right. Like there's no giant islands in the middle of that Pacific Ocean? Why is there such a huge no man zone? No ships, no planes fly over. And it's interesting the flight paths that the commercial jets have to take. Even shipping lines. I wonder what is really out there. It's a big, vast ocean. Could be an island out there. Remember, it is the Ring of Fire. It's surrounded by volcanoes. And we just had a huge volcanic explosion not too long ago in the, in the southeast region of the Pacific Ocean. So, give it a couple billion years. It's, it's one of the oldest plates on this planet. If not the oldest, if I recall. Maybe just some hidden city there. Be crazy. Our reality. What what else would shake up our reality? Antarctica. Advanced civilization living on Antarctica. That would shake up our reality. Being a flat earth, that would shake it up pretty good. Hollow Earth. I like Donut Earth. Donut Earth would be pretty cool. Just think about it. The views that we'd have and the moon going through us. Going through the planet? Oh. We would like be able to jump to the moon from Earth. Because it would just get so close. I don't even know if that's physically possible. Just a random thought in my head. Have you ever been to the Pacific Ocean? It's really as blue as you imagine it is. It's possibly bluer. It's really beautiful. I miss it. I miss swimming in it. I miss feeling it. I miss looking at it. When you jump into that cold water of the Pacific, it feels refreshing. It gives you like a little shock to your body. I guess that ice plunge kind of feel. But then you realize like, oh, this is nice. That's how I view the oceans. They're beautiful. I have a lot of mystery in them. I hope we can solve them before we destroy it all. Because we are not that sustainable. We destroy a lot of the ocean before we even explore it. Before we even have a chance to. I've read there's a lot of like dead zones. In the ocean. Sad. You think like. The water should be filled with life. It's water. Look at that. Shouldn't be any death in it. Should be life throughout it. Fortunately there is. Life through it. That matters. We get the cycle of life. We get that beautiful luminescence throughout the planet with the plankton i believe i believe it's you know what it's called plankton it glows illuminates at night gives us a, that glow off the coast i'm not an oceanologist i just studied it online but enough of that boring stuff how about that NFL playoffs? Gee, I've been calling out the losers. I am 0-4 on picking winners for this playoffs. None of the teams. I didn't predict 
neither one of these teams to be in the playoffs. Who would have thought the Cincinnati Bengals versus the L.A. Rams? Who would have thought? Crazy. Super Bowl is in Los Angeles. And one team has never been, well, hasn't been to the Super Bowl in a very long time. Hmm. I bet Ohio's going to go crazy if they win. Who's going to win? Both teams are pretty good. Both teams have shocked me how good they can be. I mean, come on. You beat Kansas. You beat Tom Brady. Oh, come on. It's going to make for an exciting Super Bowl. You know what's some exciting news that I haven't shared in a long time? It's kind of exciting. I got this bird. A little parakeet. I have some late exciting news to share. Is that I have a bird. And one of the interesting facts about this relationship with this bird is that I didn't give him a name. We didn't give him a name for the longest time. I think it was almost almost a year. When we finally decided on a name for him, we just kept calling him Birdie. Felt sad for him. He just in that cage. So sad. I just believe a bird should be in flight all the time. Why ground a bird? Why ground them from the sky? They don't deserve to be on the ground. They deserve to be flying. So I try to take care of this bird as best as I can. And we decided on a name for him. Cake. You're wondering where I got his name from. It's not from the dessert. Not at all. It's from a cartoon. You might know it. It's called Final Space. Talk to that parakeet. Like Gary talks to that mooncake. Fun. And he does his little chip, 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 chip. With the sounds of the words I make. You know? Makes it feel like a conversation's going on. Some weird way. We understand each other. Like Gary and that mooncake. Ah, oh, Final Space. You gotta watch that show. It's a great cartoon. Gary lives an exciting life. Lives a very exciting life. He gets to explore the cosmos. Go on crazy adventures. It's a crazy life he has. It's tough. It's tough. It's not easy. It's not boring. It's not boring at all. Ooh, imagine if we all had lives like... Gary, the Gary, and Mooncake. We all have epic tales. All live that parallel universe reality of being the hero, or worse, being the villain. Ooh. Some people actually desire to be the villain. I don't know if they just like the thought of it, or they actually have cruel intentions. I mean, yeah, it's Halloween cool to dress up as a villain. Sometimes if you're playing a video game or a game board, yeah, you play the villain. You have fun with it. It's like I have fun reading this poetry. And that's when you know my curlies. It's poetry time. Thou gift thy table are within my brain. By William Shakespeare. O thou, my lovely boy, who in thy power doest hold time's fickled glass, his fickled hour, who has it by whining groan, and therewithin showeth thy lover's wildering as thy sweet self grow. If nature, sovereign's mistress, over whack, as thou goest onward, still will pluck thee back. She keeps thee. To this purpose, that her skill may time disgrace and wretched minutes kill. Yet fear her, O thy minion of her pleasure. She may detain, but not still keep her treasure. Her audit, 
though delay, answered must be, and her quietacious is to render thee. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed this episode, my curlies. Have a wonderful day.